Okay, we're at Windows 10 again here. Uh, to get to the troubleshoot, you hold down the shift key and you restart your computer. See, it shows restart there. Now, if you try to boot up and it freezes on the log screen, on this side of the screen here you're going to have option to shut down or restart with your mouse right in about here somewhere. So then go ahead and hold down the shift key and push restart. And you still got the shift key pushed in there and it should lead you to this screen here. Now you can release the shift key. Now in here you got quite a few options. You can shut off your PC which you don't want to do or you can continue just using Windows 10 without any repair or troubleshoot. Here and you have reset your PC or advanced options. And here you've got quite a few different options. You've got startup repair which is automatically tried to repair your system after a few times if this fails you can come back to this screen here and come back again and you can check system restore now in lots of machines this has not been activated in this machine here it has been though so let's see what it does here now this will um, set your uh, PC back in time okay I'm going to continue it here and in here it'll show me my reset point see it's starting next here see I have a reset point I can show other reset points so you just set it back to before you had the update and it will automatically go back in time now if you don't have that then you have different options to do here um, system image which is an image that you put on the PC while it was still new. If Obviously if you don't have system restore you might not have the system image. Uh, go back to a previous version which means you can go back to a previous version of the Windows 10 which they've updated versions. So you can go back here go back to a previous version. See? Go back to previous version if you ran into a problem you go back okay that's that's another one to do <clears throat> okay system image recovery well we went through okay here's another one here if if all the other ones failed um, system startup setting okay we want to go into safe mode and in safe mode what you can do is go into your uh, programs and physically remove the update that stop the system from loading up and freezing enable safe mode push 4 I pushed for it should go right into safe mode now <clears throat> okay I'm in safe mode now <clears throat> and I'll give you the version up top here It'll give you some tips and stuff like this. Okay, click out of there. You can go into control panel. 
Okay, programs. Uh, viewed, installed, updates. And in here you're going to have updates. And make this bigger here for a second. And you can view when these updates were put on. And you can click on it and then you can uninstall it. And then from there you can uh, reset the system and see if that helped you. Okay, I'm going to restart from here. Okay, last but not least, okay, you're back into the troubleshoot here. Reset this PC. You can choose to keep or remove your files and then reinstall Windows. Okay, and here you got keep my files, remove apps and settings, but keep my personal files, or remove everything. Which obviously this one here is going to remove pictures and videos. So you want to do this one, keep my files, remove apps and settings. This is your last option here, and this will reset your your PC back. To the very beginning. <clears throat> Why are you having to go through all this trouble? Because in the update it's been corrupted either by a driver gone bad or a driver that's not acceptable to your system. So keep that in mind for uh, next time when you update. You can also shut those updates off too eh? On in your settings in your Windows 10.